What if we could train our brain for a more focused, more relaxed state of mind? Well, we can, and this technology that allows us to do it is called neurofeedback. The goal of neurofeedback is to train us to regulate our own brain activity. For the past six weeks, I've been using the Alphabeats neurofeedback mental training system, and I'm gonna share everything on the experience. I'm gonna share the science behind how neurofeedback works, and we are even gonna take a field trip to the Alphabeats headquarters in Eindhoven, the Netherlands. This video is not sponsored by Alphabeats. I genuinely love what they're doing, and this video is sponsored by another other beautiful technology short form which we will talk about later so stay tuned for an adventure all about training our brain hey guys it's Robin and welcome back to the science of self-care on this channel we talk about health science we talk about life philosophy and we do a whole lot of self-care experimentation I'm very excited for today's video because I've been familiar with Alphabeats technology for about two years they are actually an ex-client of my marketing agency. So I intimately know the company and what they do and the research behind it, but I've never been able to use the product because it hasn't been out yet. In fact, it's still not out. It's coming out later this year. But I was able to get my hands on one of their EEG headbands and their app to test out their mental training system. So Alphabeats as a company is on a mission to help elite athletes train their brain for peak performance. And they do this through alpha wave neurofeedback training. So let's talk neurofeedback. What is it? Neurofeedback, also known as EEG biofeedback, is essentially any sort of system that can read your brain waves through EEG and then use that information to give you feedback through auditory or visual cues about what your brain is doing. And by getting that feedback, you're able to train your brain towards certain activities. So for a little background, there are several different brain states that we may inhabit in a day and night. Usually when we're running around and we're very task oriented, our brain is in a beta wave state. Right now, you and I are both in a beta wave state. When we are very calm, deeply meditatively focused, we are in an alpha brain wave state. And then when we're starting to fall asleep and we're kind of going in and out of consciousness, we're in a theta brain wave state. And when we're in that deep, deep, deep sleep, state. We're usually in a delta brainwave state. Alphabet specifically trains alpha waves, thus the name, which means they are training you to enter an alpha wave state and to stay in an alpha wave state. Now, why would we want to do that? Alpha wave states are associated to meditative deep states of focus, to calm creativity. It's the brainwave state most associated to flow states. So being able to control our ability to enter an alpha wave state can be great for us from mental health to creativity to recovery. And what's interesting about alpha beats is that they are targeting elite athletes. This really makes me think of the book, The Inner Game of Tennis, which I've talked about before on this channel, which is all about how getting to our best performance whether that's as an athlete or an actor, any sort of peak performance usually requires us to shut down the thinking part of our brain and just presently do and be reactive. But I am by no means an elite athlete, but in theory, any human who wants to better control their state of focus and relaxation and improve their ability to meditate, these are all things that alpha wave training can help us do. So how does Alphabeats specifically work? Alphabeats uses a portable EEG headset to measure the electrical activity in your brain. It sends that data to the Alphabeats app, and then the app will actually adjust the music you're listening to to essentially tell you whether you're in an alpha wave state or a beta wave state. And it does this by rewarding alpha through really rich, beautiful sounding music. And then when you're going out of alpha and getting a little bit distracted and going into beta, your music will actually dim and it will sound flatter and more distant. And in that sense, your brain is able to tell the difference between when it's in alpha and when it's in beta. And it's getting that immediate feedback in real time. And in this way, your brain automatically learns what it feels like to be in an alpha wave state and also how to get there more easily. And now a quick break to talk about the sponsor of today's video, Shortform. Shortform creates high quality book guides and summaries that make the world's best ideas more accessible. Using Shortform honestly makes me feel like I'm part of some very smart book club. I really like that in addition to summarizing the material from a book, they will also add in research-based discussion points and insights, so it makes reading through material feel very objective, which I really appreciate. So especially for health-related content, 
I think this is a great resource. How do I use short form personally? I use it to discover new books, to test taste new books, to refresh myself on books that I've already read, as well as doing research for talks or videos or any sort of content that I'm creating. It's really helpful to have so many different summaries at hand and very easily digestible. I've personally been trying to spend less time mindlessly scrolling on social media. So I love that this is a form of entertainment on my phone, but it is adding to my breadth of knowledge and not turning me into a zombie. So you can click the link below or go to shortform.com slash self care to get a free trial of all their books and 20% off of an annual subscription. Happy reading guys, let's get back to the video. Now let's review my personal experience. It is pretty crazy, actually. The first few times I used Alphabeats, I was shocked at how bad I was at remaining in alpha because essentially what happens is we really calm the mind, we focus, we get into that meditative state, and then the music becomes so beautiful. And then we think, oh my gosh, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. And then as we're excited about doing it and thinking about the fact that we're doing it, we come out of that state. So essentially I had to learn how to concentrate without thinking, which I did not realize I was quite bad at because I do meditation regularly, but I don't have any feedback. So I don't know if I'm doing it right. I just sit there and try to empty my mind. But now this device is literally telling you if you are clearing your mind of thoughts. Another thing that I noticed in the first few days of using Alpha Beats is how powerful our breath is. Anytime I started to get too much out of Alpha and into Beta and my mind was just going wild, I would stop. I would breathe really deeply and really slowly, and I would bring myself back to alpha through breathing alone, basically. And so if there's anything you take away from this video, neurofeedback or no neurofeedback, our breath is so powerful in changing our physiology and changing our brain waves. So in addition to neurofeedback, both visual and auditory, Alpha Beats also has cognitive games to train your reaction time. They have a bunch of different protocols, but after two weeks of doing those games, I found it too stressful. <laughs> I'm not a gamer, I'm sorry guys. Here you can see how my average from January to February has increased, but in January, I did all those cognitive games, which kind of stressed me out. So maybe that is why I have a lower score. I think I need to actually keep doing it because that's what we're actually after, is to be able to get in an alpha wave state while doing these super fast paced reaction time games. Now for the real question, do I notice any difference outside of the app in my everyday life? I think it's near impossible to say if it's made a difference in my life outside of using it. I also do a lot of things for my mental health and focus. Just the visceral realization that when I breathe slowly and when I look at a certain point in my mind in a very specific way, <laughs> by breathing in a certain way and looking in my mind in a certain way. I learned how to get to alpha more easily. I do plan to continue to use it after I'm done with my current other sleep experiment. So I've been blabbing on and on for far too long. I think it's time for a field trip. We're gonna go to Eindhoven, the Netherlands, to the headquarters of Alpha Beats to speak to their CEO, one of their software engineers, and just see kind of what they're all about. Let's go. So we have made it to the high-tech campus here in Eindhoven where there are over 200 Dutch startups and really cool tech companies and we are going to go find Alpha Beats. What's the vision of the future that Alphabets has? The big picture is that we truly believe that we can give people ways to control their brain. Within today's society, that's really needed. Why are we focusing on athletes? The interesting part about athletes, especially if you look at the professional, the elite athletes, then they already have optimized their physical training. They already have optimized their food, nutrition, diets. What they did not yet optimize is the way they train their brain, their mindset. While the interesting part is that the difference between getting first and becoming second, it's all a mental game. Over 50% of success is defined by your mental performance. We made it as easy 
to train your brain as it is to train your body. My personal ambition is I know the importance of, uh, of, a, of a great mindset because at the end it's all a mental game. Uh, what you do, life, work, the way you look at things is the way you make your life. I'm signal processing engineer, so that means that I'm looking at these signals uh, every day, <laughs> more or less. So what's happening? You, it's currently measuring... Yeah, it's currently measuring my brainwaves, which are shown on, on screen. And these are just the raw signals uh, as they come from my, my scalp. So, and looking uh, at these signals, can you tell what is what? Uh, these um, bumps you see here, these, those are eye blinks. Uh, those are actually something we're not interested in because they're considered artifacts. So we split based on, on frequency. Those are the, the ones which we we're interested in. My recent score of 88 that I was very proud of, is that good? Uh, that's, that, that's quite a good mediocre. achievement. Yeah, that's <laughs> quite an achievement. You, you Usually if you don't do anything at all, you, you end up like on around 25. 88 is quite good. I haven't passed 90. Have you passed 90? Yeah, yeah, I've passed 90 a couple of times. There are even people that made it into 100, but that's a round off error. Really? So you should, in theory, you shouldn't be able to achieve 100. Same. So we should adjust the algorithm because people are really getting very good at it. And after studying so many brain waves, have you noticed any tips to get into alpha? Uh, for, for me, it's just a matter of focusing on my breathing. So that's just the, the, the good old uh, thing to, to work on. Very but that's nice. not really related to the signals. <laughs> Overall, I'm really excited to see this technology continue to develop. I'm certainly going to keep using it and experimenting with it. So whenever I use the headband, I essentially put my hair up and make a little line so that the electrodes can touch my scalp. <laughs> and it really helps if you wet these little, these little squares. And then I look super stylish. I will say the battery on this thing lasts a really long time, which I appreciate because so many devices I have run out of battery really quickly. I would love to know if you've ever tried neurofeedback. What are your thoughts? Are you interested in trying it? Does it sound very scary? I always love the conversations we have in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you next time.